Well, good afternoon, my brothers and sisters in Christ at Grace. I come to you on this Tuesday afternoon and want to give you an update on what is taking place at Grace and our response in the midst of all of the different updates that have been given to us by our governor and by the CDC and the federal government. But before I get into that, and this is going to be a little bit longer of an update, I do want to start with the Word of God. This past week, as our staff met, uh, we talked about Paul's words in Romans chapter 8, where Paul says this, And we know that for those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his promise. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, nor anything in all of creation can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. What an amazing promise that is that Paul reminds us of, that there is nothing, not even death, struggles, difficulties, that can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. And in the midst of all of those things, Paul says these words, For we know that for those who love God, all things work together for the good. And we know that this situation is difficult. There's no denying that. The reality of the struggles of this world, we all face that right now. And yet, God promises to work all of this for the good. How? We don't know right now. And yet we cling to his promises. So as we continue to give you updates on how grace is going to respond to uh, this continuing to evolve and change news that we are continually receiving, we are confident that God will work all things for the good of his people as we stand faithfully and steadfast in his grace and mercy. Just an update on the current situation as uh, we have received information. Uh, we know that our governor has officially put a ban on gatherings of 50 or larger and in fact, Trump came yesterday and suggested, according to the CDC, to not even have gatherings of 10 or more. And the truth is, we want to take that seriously. We are taking this situation very seriously. And we would ask that you would do the same. Not just for your own health, but we also are very concerned for others. We are people who care for people's souls, but we also care for their bodies. So we ask that together as the body of Christ here at Grace, we would continue to support and care for one another. And one of the ways that we do that is by taking such a situation seriously. We are continuing to uh, seek information, assess that information, and understand what that information means for us here at Grace. What that means for us is that we as a staff are continuing to work very hard for you and for ministry. Our teachers continue to work their hours and that time that they have to teach our students, to help educate them. They have not discontinued that work. This is not a break for them. It's not a break for our staff. We continue to seek out ways to create ministry spaces so that we can engage you with learning, with growth, with the Word of God. But we also ask that you would be patient with us as we work through this process, as we continue to learn and grow. I know that I have spent many hours learning, understanding, gaining knowledge in uh, what the COVID coronavirus is and what that means for us as a church. And I know our whole staff and our teachers and everyone that's in leadership at Grace has been doing the same thing. We will continue to do ministry. We're just going to do it differently. So please be patient with us as we work through that process. One of the implications, though, of all of this, as we do understand what is going on with the virus and with what is being asked of us by the state of Wisconsin in the ban they have put on us, is that uh, we are going to, starting tomorrow for Lenten worship, move all of our worship experiences fully online. I need to be very open with you that that truly grieves my heart. We prayed about this a lot. 
And we had difficult conversations about this. But in understanding Romans 13 and the calling to listen to those that God has put in authority of us, and also listening to God's calling that we need to continue to share the word of God and worship him, we believe that God is leading us at this time, for this period of time, to move our worship experiences into an online format. And that does grieve my heart because worship is central and core to what I believe that we as Christians are called to. So please understand, starting tomorrow and then this weekend, and until we understand more about how long this will be, uh, we will be moving all of our worship experiences into an online format. This does mean that uh, we will have a contemporary worship format that will be on Facebook and on YouTube and on our website. It'll be available starting on Saturday night at 5 o'clock. We will have that streamed on Facebook at 5 o'clock on Saturday. We'll also then stream it at 9.30 and 11 o'clock on Sunday. It will be recorded, which means that you can also watch that worship service, that contemporary worship service in the afternoon or later into the evening on Sunday, but it will be available starting at Saturday at 5 p.m. We will also have a traditional worship service format, and that will be available starting at 8 o'clock on Sunday morning. We'll stream it on Facebook, and then it will be on our website, and we'll also have it on a YouTube channel. We want to encourage you to make worship a priority even if it is a little bit different at this time. If you cannot use Facebook or you know someone who is not able to use Facebook or websites or YouTube, but they would be blessed by having a DVD of the worship service, please let us know and we will make sure that we get a DVD copy. And if you give us where to send it, we will send it out to them. During our traditional services, uh, we will have hymns and uh, we will do the things that we normally do during those services and during our contemporary services uh, we will also have our praise team a portion of them singing uh, along with some of the things we do in our contemporary services we will also have during our contemporary services a children's message so uh, you can look forward to seeing different spaces different faces offer that children's message during lent we will also have our wednesday services that will be on Facebook, on the website, and on YouTube, and those will be available starting on Wednesdays at 6.30 during that normal service time. To supplement uh, this online worship experience, because we know it's different when you're worshiping in your home as worshiping gathered together as the people of God inside of this space that he has blessed us with. So we want to provide some things for you as God's people. The first thing is we're going to provide a guide for how to create a worshipful, worshipful experience in your home. So that'll be available online. We'll also have links to that in Facebook and on the YouTube channel. We're going to have a prayer request form that will also be a link that'll be on Facebook, on the website, and the YouTube channel. We will also have links to our worship bulletin that you can download for the service along with the Grace News and all the information that we will continue to update there. Along with that, we will also have links to the online giving. There is also, if uh, you are not comfortable using online giving, the opportunity to, we will have a drop box, a locked drop box outside of the church to drop off offerings. Uh, you can drop it off at church during the normal office hours, uh, Monday through Friday, or you can drop it in the mail. We do encourage you to continue to prayerfully consider your generosity to grace and to ministry because a ministry is still happening. Your servants here at Grace are continuing to provide ministry for you. Our teachers are continuing to provide ministry for our students. And we encourage you as God's people to continue to provide the generous support that makes these things happen. So again, you can do that either online or in a drop box outside the church office or drop it off at the church office, or you can mail it in. One of the things we know that we cannot provide in an online format is communion. And so uh, Pastor Klatt and myself uh, spent some time talking about this and what we would like to offer to you as God's people. And so if you would like to receive communion during this time, 
uh, we're going to have communion hours here at Grace. So just uh, during our communion hours, you would come to the front door, come in through the front door. We will have those open for you. Uh, ask that you would use hand sanitizer as you come in. And then on Mondays from 7 till 9 a.m., noon until 2 p.m., and 6 till 8 p.m., and Wednesdays from 7 till 9 a.m., noon to 2 p.m., and 6 till 8 p.m., uh, we will allow 10 people at a time in through the front doors to receive communion. So we want to encourage you, as this is one of the ways that God delivers to us his gifts, to prayerfully consider coming during some of those hours. Again, Mondays and Wednesdays from 7 to 9 a.m., noon to 2, or 6 to 8 p.m., to receive God's gifts in his very body and blood. We know that there are changes in ministry. One of those changes is, unfortunately, our women's retreat has been canceled, has been the suggestion of groups that meet together. But to try to continue to provide ministry for you, uh, we're going to have a daily Facebook devotional times that will be five minutes or less in nature that different ministry staff will provide for you on a daily basis besides Wednesdays and Sundays when we will have worship. We will seek to provide weekly updates on Facebook. So I hope to come to you on a weekly basis on Facebook, via email, and on the website to update you on what's going on. Because we don't know how long uh, this will continue. We pray that it is for but a short period of time. There are many ministries that have moved to virtual or email space, and you're going to get emails about that. We're actually going to have one link on our Facebook page and on our website that will take you directly to a space on our website that will have a link to all of the different ministries that provide for you virtual spaces to continue to be in God's Word. Please be patient as we put these together. We would also like to extend to you that uh, we know some of you need to talk with a pastor or ministry leader. So if you do need to speak with one of us, please do not hesitate to call and reach out to us in the church office, 262-251-0670. We would love to speak with you, pray for you over the phone, and continue to do ministry for you. We encourage you to use the form that was sent out to you via email to uh, talk about different resources you might have to be a blessing to others in our community and in our congregation, or if there are needs that you have, to communicate those needs. This is a wonderful way for us to be the church together. Thank you to so many of you who have already responded, and as needs come in that match the resources that you have stated that you have, uh, we will reach out to you to match resources with blessings. So what can you do at this time? First, we want to encourage you, while you may maintain the distance, that social distance that we're called to, don't socially isolate. Spend time connecting and caring for others. Check on neighbors, check on the elderly, check on those who are vulnerable. Reach out to your friends, reach out to others, and remind them that you are still there for them, and know that they are still there for you. And second of all, use this time to grow spiritually. Increase your prayer life. Spend more time in God's word. Prioritize worship as you now have access to those worship services online. Utilize the online ministry resources that are going to be provided for you and for your family so that we can continue to be here at Grace of Family that is growing in Christ while we are reaching out in love. And continue to prayerfully support the ministry of grace with your offerings during this time. We're going to continue to update you about what is going on at Grace, but you are in our prayers, and we are here for you. So we are going to do ministry. We're just going to do it differently for a period of time, and we will continue to update you on what that will look like as we continue to follow God, knowing that he will work all things for the good of his people. God's richest blessings. Talk to you and prayerfully see you soon.